Hey folks, it's Paul. This is Ma. Yeah, and this is Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. And we're out here on this beautiful porch. Still working on, but we're just gonna get it done. We'll get our swing. Thought we'd show you real quick here on this beautiful yeah. Saturday. It's uh, really warm, and we're getting some new additions to our farm. Isn't that and, the uh, life of a homesteader? Never done, but always right. working at it. And right here is one new member down here. Look at this tiny little beagle puppy. That's Tommy's puppy. That's our son Tommy. He's the baby boy. <laughs> so, we thought we'd just drop in real quick and show you what a beautiful day today here in the hills of West Virginia. Oh, yeah. So, God bless you. God bless you. And hope you. Look, show him that little puppy one more time. Look at that little puppy. Hi, hey, little puppy. What's she doing, little puppy? Look. Look at the little puppy. You can't come up he here. Just, he's looking over at these guys. <laughs> he wants to come up. What's the matter, little puppy? <laughs> Where'd he go? Under the, under the porch, of course. Nice place to hide. So, anyways. Alrighty, folks. This is Paul. This is Ma, and y'all have a great day. And listen, I wanted to tell y'all something. You need to subscribe. Push that subscribe button. To the YouTube channel. To the YouTube channel. Well, I don't know. I'm not that educated on it. But push that subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Hi. Oh, and there's Sissy. She does a lot of the good old selling of produce and stuff like that. Hi, She's everyone. A produce expert. My mom and daddy. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. One what Sissy wants. <laughs> God bless y'all. There one. Okay. <laughs> you stop it. Well, we've got a new addition to the farm. New additions to the farm. And a little Danny. See how many you got underneath of here. Whoa, mama. <laughs> okay, little girl. Okay, good mama. What you got under there? Guys, got any babies under there? Oh, yeah. Let's see. What we got? One, two. Two little black ones. Okay. Okay, folks, this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors, and um, just a little video today. This is January the 11th, and 
I came out yesterday evening into my barn and found, heard a little peepee peeping on January the 11th. And uh, this little lady, let me see if I can get a flashlight. This little lady down there had a couple peeps she had hatched. Little banny hen, got two peeps. They're down underneath of her right now. So I went ahead and set up this uh, big cow waterer, put some uh, shavings in, and got their feed and water. And of course, I've got a light heat lamp at the other end in case they would need it. And I uh, went ahead and put them in here uh, until the peeps get big enough and get feathered out to where they can sustain the colder weather. Um, so we all know, or at least ways I do, I figure, put it that way, that they're not going to make it when the temperature gets down into single digits uh, without any feathers. So the temperature today happens to be about 70 degrees. Can you believe that on January 11th in West Virginia? Well, <laughs> it is. So, okay, just wanted to share that with you. And uh, it's just one of these tractor supply cattle waterers and they work good for peeps, ducklings, whatever you want to put in. I've got this a little dog panel for inside the house that we put over top uh, to keep her in and keep um, things like cats and things like that in case they would happen to get in the barn which they don't but you never know okay so I'm gonna close for now and uh, we'll keep you updated on the progress of these little checks you're watching Stevens Family Outdoors don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Feeding the goats in with the Anatolian Shepherd pups, and it seems like going pretty good. I just didn't want the pups to eat the goat feed. We'll see what's going to happen here. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Back over here. I think they'll be all right. <laughs> since I got these guys, they're seven months old now, and since I got them, um, their bark now sounds like full-grown a dog so I haven't had any chicken losses or goat losses due to predators and that's a big plus and the goat just made a little noise and uh, the boys backed up <laughs> whatever that means This is good.
down. Come here, boy. Come here. Good boy. Come on, Chicky. just come up here on the scene. Morning, Floyd. Gonna get you a few pecks there? Get off that fence. Get off that fence. Get. Come on. Stay in there. This week I'm going to get a dump trailer load of wood chips and uh, dump them in there for them so they have something to scratch in. And we'll show you what that looks like. No, you're the alpha. Or you're in trouble. Guess we know now where the rest of the chicks are. They like to come down here where the leaves are a little heavier. Uh, go down in the wood chip garden and scratch in the wood chips. As they do here along the fence covered in wood chips. You can see where they scratched and laid their manure pile. 
fertilizing for me. Fertilizes my grapevine. Hello, Mr. Floyd. Well, the pond is full for sure. Pups resting over a rough night <laughs> at work. Well, hello, folks. I'm Paul. And I'm Maul. And, and we're, we're on the swing. On the swing. This time for real. Yeah. Now, it's uh, January the 11th, and it's the close of the day. Uh, Maul's actually got some chicken frying mm -hmm. on low in there, so we're going to yum out here in just a little bit. So yeah, that's why I said I can't stay too long. I don't yeah, can't get that chicken before it burns. Yeah, that's <laughs> you always say that can't stay too long. <laughs> yeah. uh, ended up by uh, got those peeps. Uh, I showed you those peeps uh, you know that we had uh, uh, that Banny had had new two new peeps here January the 11th so we went ahead and fixed a cozy little spot for them with the heat lamp for when it does get colder it, it was 70 degrees here today in West Virginia I know what a fluke yeah also for the first time went ahead and fed my goats in with the two Anatolian Shepherd pups to see if they would, if the pups would let it be, and it worked out really well. Um, I, I'll let you see that too, and, and uh, if you haven't already, I don't know when I'm going to interject it on the video. <laughs> but anyway, some of y'all, hey, take a drink of that no, coffee. The wind's picking up. Yeah, the wind's picking up. But some yeah. of y'all uh, said you wanted to take a little better peek at our the porch I just built here now we're not finished and uh, the addition is a 14 by 20 extra beside the 8 by 20 that was the original so just add them all up and uh, and you'll get that there so probably 22 by 20 somewhere like that there so let me give you a little shot of this here All right, this is, now right here where we're sitting is the old porch. And this is the new section. I've got to put the banisters on. i got to cut the posts down. And these five quarter boards are what's going to go up on the original 8 by 20 already got some firewood stacked. Just a little bit for when it snows or rains or whatever. Then as I go over this way, you can look over and see the goats and the pups. The wind's picking up. I hope it's not blowing through this microphone. And here's a little landing. As you can see, a little landing four by four that goes down the steps to another landing and on down to the ground as I said before I'm not finished so I've got to put the banisters on there and what I normally do is keep the skate shut when the grandkitties come out Alrighty, Maul done went in. She didn't want the chicken to burn. Well, Maul just went in yep. to turn the chicken. So I had to go get that chicken. Actually, I took that chicken up. Took it up. I didn't want it to burn. So it, it's all ready to roll. Didn't want it to burn either. No. 
if we can get this settled here real quick. Oh. I think we're about finished anyway for the evening. Yep. We'll eat some supper. We're going to eat some chicken taters and some chicken taters. Mm hmm. That sounds pretty good to me. Yep. Alrighty, yep. Oh. It's been a been a wonderful day. Yes, it has been. So So I I guess y'all's day was good too and uh wherever you're located, so you know, every day's a good day, even though if it's raining, snowing, sleeting or windy or whatever. It's always a good day with the Lord. Don't matter what. And with Ma. Yeah, well. <laughs> so anyway, we Wanted to drop by again and say howdy to all of our friends and family that watches. And, and we'll catch you on again yep. another day on the swing. So yes, this is Paul. This is Maul. And we're, we're on, on the, the swing. swing. God, God bless. bless. And remember to subscribe to, to our YouTube channel. I got it right that time. You got it right that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.